This view can make you appreciate the space and elegance of this amenity area. Hi, this is Jake Bautista and we'd like to welcome you to a brand new MetroGuide Realty House Tour. Today we are presenting a modern and well-organized six-bedroom house and lot for sale located here in Alabang, Muntinlupa City. This property has a floor area of 581 square meters and a lot area of 400 square meters across three levels. Let's begin by taking a look at this facade. Look at those clean lines and that neutral color gives it a very understated but classic feel. Now in terms of the functionality, it has a six carport area. Let's go. So you see that even if you have six SUVs in terms of the space. You can easily fit them all here. Two cars, another two cars, and then the fifth and sixth car on this side. You have access here towards the service quarters and the side of the house, and we'll explore that later. Come on, let's go. Another thing that I like about this property is it's east side facing. So you have the morning sun at the front of the house. We're shooting this video in the afternoon and you see it's already quite cool because the afternoon sun is already at the other side of the property. And you also have a nice landscape garden area here to give you that pop of greenery upon entering the home. You also have your pedestrian gate on this side. And let's head on up towards your main entry. Now, welcome to your beautiful home. Upon entering the house, you have your foyer space. And to give you an orientation, you immediately have two bedrooms on both your left and right sides here. We'll explore that later and then you have your powder room for guests. But let's begin by taking a look at the main amenity spaces first. You're welcomed by a high ceiling area with a wooden design for the ceiling and you have windows stretching to the second floor so making this a very well-lit and ventilated space. Another thing that I notice is the textured design for the walls throughout the space. It has a very understated feel but the longer I stay in the space the more that I like it instead of having just plain white walls. And then on your right you have a patio space and then a garden area at the side. But let's begin by taking a look at your main living space. My first impression for this area is the high ceiling and how generous it feels in terms of the spacing. You can have a large living room set over here, even an L-shaped sofa on this side. And then there's so much natural light because of the four large windows here. And then of course, you already have a split type air conditioning unit cooling the entire space. The flooring is also complementary to the color of the walls and the windows. And this is very easy to pair no matter what kind of 
color scheme you'd like for your furniture. Even if you'd like a dark theme or a light theme. And then on this side, it flows to your open dining area. So your dining area is accentuated by the cove lighting here. You can place a large light fixture here over your main table. So this can easily fit even a table for up to 12 people. So it's up to you how you want to set this up. But the, what I'm liking is you also have a sliding door here, giving you access towards the side of the house. So this is an additional tiled area where you can have like a coffee table and it also gives you access towards the side of the house. So we'll explore that later. But for orientation's sake, on the other side, you have access towards the garden to at the side of the house, okay? And in terms of the windows, these are sturdy PVC windows. Now from your dining area, let's explore your open main kitchen. This feels so well planned because of the center countertop here, which is great for meal prep. It also has this light fixture, which has a very elegant feel. You can have stools on this side, make this an informal dining area. And this is also great for entertaining guests. You have an Elba branded range hood and you have a cooktop already right here. So it's an induction cooktop. And then lots of storage. You have a large window here for ventilation over your sink space. And then you have this great view of your dining area and even your main living space as well. And then this is a great display area. You can have your coffee machine on this side and then this space is for your refrigerator and you have your oven right here and then plenty of storage throughout the space. Okay, and you have this door here leading towards your auxiliary kitchen space. So this is organized so that you can have another full oven here and then an additional sink space and then additional storage on this side, okay? And then there's even a space here so you can have a small refrigerator here as well. And you see you have your circuit breakers on this side and then access downstairs towards the service area. Let's take a quick look. Okay, and now we're back here at the parking area. So this is excellent because if you have groceries that you need to bring up, you, it doesn't have to go through the rest of the house very quick access immediately towards the auxiliary kitchen and kitchen space. And then on this side, you have a he heavy wash area where you can have your laundry space. And then here you have your maid's room. And then your driver's room on this side. Both have their own bathroom. So let's take a look at the maid's room just so you have an orientation on the size. Okay. It even has zone storage and then a bath space. Okay. And you have a stainless steel tank already on this side and then this gives you access towards the dining area. Let's head on up towards the second level. And we're back here at the dining space. This view can really make you appreciate how spacious and elegant 
the living, dining, and kitchen amenity spaces are. It's very easy to organize your furniture here, and it feels so open and welcoming throughout the entire house. Here's another view of your high ceiling space. And let's quickly explore your garden at the side of the home. This area is much more spacious than I thought because there's a large clearance between the house and the perimeter wall. And in terms of privacy, I'm liking that they have these bamboo plants here. This is gonna grow out and increase the cover. And it's also a great view of greenery from inside the house. And check out the space. If you'd like to have a plunge pool in the future, that's a possibility right here. And then on the other side, this tiled area is excellent for having a coffee table. And this is a nice touch. They have an outlet right here. So you can plug your laptop here and make this a nice alfresco working space. Okay, let's head back in. And now we're here at the foyer space. And you have these two bedrooms, but let's begin by taking a look at your powder room. And what I noticed right away when I went into this house is the quality of the fixtures that they used. So you have grow heat for the sink and Villeroy and Bach for the water closet. Then on this side, let's take a look at the first bedroom. So it's a corner room. And once again, this is facing the east side of the property. So you, you maximize that morning sun here. You have screens already. You have a split type air conditioning unit. Nice ceiling height. You have outlets throughout the space already. So it's up to you how you want to arrange your furniture and electronic gadgets. And it has an ensuite bathroom already. You have a floating sink design. And then floor to ceiling tiling. Once again, Villeroy and Bach for the water closet. And then you also have that nice lighted mirror. Okay. On the other side, you have your second bedroom. And this is more spacious. If you have a family member who is more senior, who prefers to be at this level, this is also a great room. You can easily have even a queen-sized bed here. Once again, another thing about this village and community is there are so many trees all around. The streets are tree-lined, so you have a very relaxing view. And here it has its own ensuite bathroom as well. So this is more spacious than the last room, and it has a walk-in closet as well. I'm gonna step in so you see the size. Now, if I were to give suggestions here, this room would, e would be excellent as a home office, and then the other room would be excellent for a bedroom. But since both have an ensuite bathroom, both can be used as bedrooms. And now it's time to explore the next level of the house, the third level of the house, which has four more bedrooms. Let's go. What I noticed upon climbing these stairs is the level is very easy to climb. The railing is very sturdy and you have thick tempered glass here. 
And now we're here at the third level of the house. And the first thing that I noticed here is the engineered bamboo wood flooring. It has a very warm tone and complements the colors of the walls and the ceiling very well. Let's begin by taking a look at your primary bedroom or master bedroom. Now, this is such a spacious area that they've divided it into an anteroom space. So you can make this a nice lounge area. You can have a television set on this side. You have that cable provision already here. You can have a sofa here. So you can come up here after a long day and just relax in your own private space away from the main amenity areas. It also has a window and even has a window here giving you a view of your main hallway. It has its own air conditioning unit, so you can even have a sliding door here in the future if you want to make it a separate area. And on this side, you have your main bedroom space. Okay. One thing that I like is the positioning of the lights. Feels very elegant and low-key. And it's up to you how you want to position your bed and your furniture. But right now, from what we see here, you have convenience switches on this side. So you have that cove lighting as well. And you can have your bed right here. And you can have your television set right here because you have your outlets and cable and LAN provision here. And now let's explore your master walk-in closet and bathroom space. Wow, nice. So you have a dual sink space here, one on the left, one on the right. And then once again, you have that lighted mirror, tempered glass shower enclosure, grow key in terms of the sinks. And then, once again, you have Villeroy and Mok for the water closet. And then you have that window for ventilation. And then another great feature of this space is you have two doors on two sides. Which leads to two separate walk-in closet spaces. So, on this side, you have this area. So you have a dresser space, lots of storage. I'm liking the color that they used here in terms of the design. And then you can have a mirror here in the feature. And then on the other side, you have another one. And let's head back towards the master bedroom. So you have two separate split type air conditioning units. One for the main master bedroom, one for the anteroom space. And now let's take a look at the fourth bedroom. So quite spacious, regular room shape. So having a regular shape for the rooms is important because it makes it easier to organize furniture. You can have your large bed on this side and then this is where you can have your television set. You have a Daikin split-type air conditioning unit already. And then once again, your bathroom with the tempered glass shower enclosure, grohi sink, and then you have a sliding door here. 
towards a closet space. And having this open below design gives plenty of ventilation to the third level, but at the same time, this also gives a more open feel when you're coming in and out of your bedrooms. And then right here, you have your fifth bedroom. So once again, quite spacious. And looking out the window, you see that there's so much greenery. You're already near the tree tops here. So quite refreshing and you also have screens already here. And then you have your solo bathroom again. This ensuite bathroom is almost exactly the same in terms of the dimensions as the last one. Once again has that space saving sliding door. I'm gonna step in so you see the size. Lots of storage and check out on this side you even have an area for shoes. And another thing I'd like to point out is the ceiling height. Because sometimes when you have three level houses, the ceiling height gets sacrificed. But not for this house. This is still quite high and quite comfortable because I'm about 5 foot 10 inches in terms of my height. So this is a nice high ceiling. And right here you have a common balcony. So this balcony is spacious enough to have a table and a couple of chairs. Just a nice area to relax and additional amenity space that can be enjoyed by the occupants of the bedrooms here. And it even has an outlet right here. So you can have like a speaker here or even your computer plugged in and make this a nice outdoor working space. And then on this side you have your sixth bedroom. Nice. So this is quite spacious. More of a rectangular shape. Three large windows on three sides of the room. The textured wall that we have at the second level of the house is consistent in the bedrooms as well. And this is something that you would have to appreciate even more once you do a viewing of the house because I can just imagine having like an artwork here. I think that would make the artwork pop out even more because of how cool the design is. It gives a more, it gives more character to the bedrooms and the walls of the house. Okay? And then here you have your sixth bathroom. So this has a different design because it doesn't have that sliding door anymore, but this is plenty of storage. Once again, for the shoes and clothes. And I like the color that they used for the cabinetry throughout the entire house. The color scheme is cohesive and well thought out. So that wraps up our quick house tour. If you want to know more about this property or visit it in person, just click the description below where you can get in touch with us through our email and number shown there. You can also send us a message and follow us through Instagram and Facebook and now you can also follow us on TikTok. And if you have a property you'd like to feature to our channel, you can send us an email at metroguiderealty at gmail.com. Once again, my name is Jake Bautista. Thank you for watching and we look forward to bringing you clarity, quality, and convenience in finding a great Metro Manila home for you and your family. Contact us today in the email and number shown here 
to schedule a property viewing. You can also click the description below for the property details. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and we look forward to bringing you and your family a great Metro Manila home.